I'm going to build a new TikTok clipping page from scratch and I'm gonna document the entire process. I have a TikTok clipping page that I built from scratch, which has 50,000 followers and I've earned over $12,000 from it since May of 2024. And before monetizing that page, it took me three months to hit 10,000 followers, which makes you eligible to get into the TikTok creator fund. So my goal with this series is to monetize a new account within two to three months, preferably if we can hit it in under 60 days. It will be tough, but as as long as we post consistently on the account, then it might just happen. So the new account I made is a Dave Ramsey finance account, but I'm also gonna be using other finance creators. So that's going to be the theme for this page. And as you can see, the account name is Dave Ramsey Clipper, and I'm gonna be changing that in 30 days. So if you have any username ideas, let me know down below in the comments. But let's get the challenge started. I'm gonna be using Opus pretty much the entire challenge because it will save me a ton of time. If you're interested in getting Opus, I actually have a link in the description below. So if you're a clipper and if you don't have a lot of time, then I highly recommend this tool. As I said, I'm mainly gonna be using Opus, but I am going to manually do some clips, which I will do in Premiere Pro because sometimes those clips do better. So during this challenge, you will see if Opus clips do better or do manual clips do better. So to start out, I'm gonna be using the Ramsey Show Highlights YouTube channel and they post content every day on here. So this is a great place for content. So they posted an hour ago. We've lost $1 million over the last 10 years so we are going to copy and paste that link into opus and we're going to see what clips it generates so we're going to copy and paste the link into there and for genre we are going to make it podcast and for clip length, we're gonna make it 60 to 89 seconds. And if you want, you can add keywords. I'm not gonna do that. And you can make your selections for what timestamps you want selected. I'm just gonna use the entire video. And down here, we can choose our own caption option. I like this caption style right here. So we're gonna select that. And then we can click get clips in one click. So as we can see here, there is a timer. It's gonna take about six minutes to get the clips. So let's wait and see what clips we get from this. Okay, so while this is loading, I'm actually gonna to go to the YouTube channel and we're gonna go ahead and make some manual clips. My new wife owes her parents $75,000. We're gonna take this and make this as a clip. So we're just gonna copy it. And then we are going to go to a YouTube to MP4 converter and we're going to copy and paste our link in here. So I downloaded that video and I brought the file here into Premiere Pro and this is where you can manually make your own clips to where you could use your own judgment. You don't have to rely on AI. This sometimes can work. So I'm gonna test this out in the Opus clips, but my main goal is I'm gonna post five clips every day till next Monday and I'm gonna show you guys an update in this same video and I'm gonna give you guys updates weekly, see how this page is going. But yeah, let's make some manual clips. So first things first is I like to make the background blurred. So I made a duplicate clip. I'm gonna add a blurred background and we're gonna find the intro and everything. And we may make this into two or three parts. The video is three minutes, 44 seconds. So let's play around and see what we can do with it. So now that we have our transcript ready, we can make our captions and we're just gonna do simple captions and we don't really need to make every single caption accurate. Premiere Pro is accurate, I'd say 90, 95% of the time, but we're just gonna make our own captions with Montserrat font. My fiance had a lot of debt related to a prior divorce. So I'm gonna make the captions to where it matches the color of the logo so I can just select all the captions here, use the eyedrop tool, and let's see how this color looks here, or if we wanna use this blue color. I like that blue color there, so we're gonna use that. So the next step when you are making manual clips is we want to make our own title card. This is the title of the video, so we're gonna use this similar to the title that we can use. So control T, we can copy and paste the title here and we are going to add a white background and we're gonna change that to Montserrat. So this is the official title, my new wife owes her parents $75 thousand dollars and since this is two parts we're going to duplicate that bring this down and we're going to say part one make it a little bit smaller and we can extend this to the end of the clip integrity here but i agree with jade 100 percent pay the parents direct 
And to make the video a little more engaging, I have an Envato plugin here. So I'm going to add a photo that has to do with the title. We're gonna type in money and we're gonna see if anything pops up there. Let's just use this photo right here. So that is the entire process of making a manual clip. This is pretty much what I do with my other finance accounts and the clips do really well. Obviously, I'm not gonna do this a whole ton with this account because it honestly would not just be worth it. So that's where Opus is gonna come into play. But now I'm gonna export these two clips. We're gonna post them later when we have the Opus clips ready. Okay, so now we're back in Opus and I believe the clips are ready. So we are going to click it and let's see how many clips it made. It made eight clips. Let's take a look at this top clip and see how it looks. Just keep going and add it and it will, you think it'll make a dent? Cause yeah, gonna... well, here's the good news. If you use the debt snowball method, small to large is back. So as we can see there, the intro was a little slow. So what we can do is we can actually edit the clip. So we are going to do that right here and we can see the entire transcript. And if we want, we can add transitions, a voiceover, B-roll. We can upload our own files. We can enhance it with AI. But the only thing I am going to adjust is the intro here because we don't want to start off the intro with just silence. So I'm going to drag this over and click split. And then this is its own file, so we can just delete that. Just keep going and add it, and it will, you think it'll make a dent? I'm yeah. And if we want to adjust the style of the captions, then over here we can just click caption, and we can change our own color. I have the hex code for that exact color I just used, so it, now it's going to match. Just keep going and add it, and it will, you think it'll make a dent? So that's the style we're going to go with for these Opus clips. And I'm not going to put too much effort into this at first. We're just going to see what sticks, what doesn't. But since I like the caption style and everything, I don't see anything else we need to do as of now. So we can save changes. And off to the side right here, if I wanted to, I could export these clips into Premiere Pro and customize them in any way I want. And as I said, you can add an AI voiceover, speech enhancement, you can add B-roll. But for the sake of these clips and with starting the account, I'm not going to use any of these features yet. And now I can publish these on social media directly from Opus. So what I can can do is I can click add accounts and then we are going to click TikTok feed and connect the account through there. And as you can see, I have these other accounts and if you don't want that, you can just deselect them. And the only thing that I am don't really like about Opus captions is that it's very wordy and the captions sometimes don't go with the video. So I'm going to make my own hashtags right here to hopefully help with SEO. And what we can do is we can copy and paste these captions so we don't have to retype these every time. We can just copy and paste them into each new clip and we'll be all good to go there. And as we can see right here, it says select time. So we can schedule these posts out. So with making five clips a day, that's gonna take a lot of time, but it won't really because we can schedule these out. So I'm gonna plan on posting five clips every day for this challenge, but till next Sunday. And I'll give you guys an update of how these Opus clips performed at the end of this week. But for the sake for this video, I'm gonna schedule this out for today on Monday and I'm gonna put it to PM. It's 2.40 right now. Now I'm gonna schedule it for 3 p.m. and let's schedule the post. And I don't wanna bore you guys with doing that for every clip, so I'm gonna do that right now, schedule these clips out, and I'm gonna to have to put in more Dave Ramsey highlights into Opus to create more clips. And for the manual clips I made in Premiere Pro, I'm just gonna upload them into TikTok manually, and I can also schedule them in there. So if I do make a lot more manual clips, I can schedule those as well. So in a couple seconds, it's gonna be a week from now, and I'll keep you guys updated on how many views we gained in the first week. Wow. One week later. It has officially been one week and here are all the results with all the analytics. A total of eight followers with 13,000 total views. I will say the amount of followers gained were a bit underwhelming but I am happy with the total views gained of 13,000. For this account I have decided to stay with the finance niche but I'm still going to post Dave Ramsey clips but I think I am going to add Caleb Hammer clips to the account. This is the person who I monetize my other account with so I definitely think it'll help gain more more views. They are in the same niche and that might help grow the page faster. So today I clipped his financial audit episode and I scheduled out clips for the week. So I'm hoping this week will be better. So I will see you all next Monday on December 16th. One week later. It is now December 16th and as you can see the amount of followers that we have gained have doubled and the amount of views on the page have tripled. So definitely doing the strategy of posting more Caleb Hammer clips have definitely helped. But if you're going to do podcast TikTok clipping you just have to stay consistent and as long as you pick popular podcast creators that are somewhat popular then you will eventually succeed it just takes consistency and as you can see right here from the Caleb 
Philip Hammer clips, there were multiple videos that hit the 1,000 view range. And I also want to say, on my main TikTok clipping account, I did get banned again, so I unfortunately cannot get monetized on that account till January 9th. So lately, I've been taking a step back, mainly from TikTok clipping. So if you want to learn how to make money online in any way with doing podcast clipping, video editing, or anything else, I actually have a free Discord community where we all can give free value to one another. The link is in the description and in the comment section. And I've also found a new AI tool called Nexus Clips. So if you want to see me make a review video on another AI tool, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.